Hi, I'm Jordan. I'm Lewis. Hi, I'm Leo. And, and this, this is Faye. Faye. Join the Bye family as we up sticks and reroute from the hustle and bustle of the UK to a more simplistic life in Bulgaria. Watch as we learn, grow, fail, succeed, and everything in between. From Bournemouth to Bulgaria. So I'm going to do like a little before and after, like, oh, this is our, our campsite right now, but then once Jordan does her thing... Boom. Ciao, ciao. Have you seen that thing that people are doing? They say, hi, my friend did it, she was like, hi, I'm Katie, this is my first drink. And then you do that at the end of the night. And she's like, hi, I'm Katie, and this is my last drink. <laughs> she's a demon. You should be fine for the kids. Jordan. Nah, come on. Stop it. No. I know you you think I'm being funny, but I'm not. Right? I'm not reusing the mattress. Like, I think, clear them off, yeah? Give them a good sand spray paint. Brand new. Two beds there. Same as me. People could have died on them. Yeah, but... You know, it just adds to character, doesn't it? Stop. Um, Our children you... cannot sleep on these. What, you think when you buy beds off Gumtree, yeah? People ain't died and done other stuff in there. All right, so today we are cleaning this room out. All of this is coming down. So it should be a fun adventure. Never knocked the ceiling down before. Don't know how it's going to go. Hopefully it goes all right. We'll see. <laughs> I don't have a ladder. My jigsaw cutter blade's just broke. To be honest with you, I've been waiting for this to break since I got it from the car retail years ago. I've no idea, no, not a clue. Hopefully I'll just go online and figure it out, but for now, I'm gonna put my chainsaw to it. Should I do it? Probably not. Am I gonna? Absolutely going to, yeah. Chainsaw. Chainsaw's quick. Like our videos? Then leave a comment, like, and subscribe. You got going on, Jord? I'm really going there. What's up? So what? What are we doing? Clearing. Barbecue area. Oh, I love that. Area. I feel like if it's clear, you'll be more inclined to build it. <laughs> no, I don't know if that's true or not. Oh, huh? Yeah, you've killed it. You're doing good. Getting through it, isn't you? A few moments later. Oh. What's wrong? Oh, it's getting worse again. You didn't get bit. You got stung. It left a sting in my body. That bee will die now. Good. Such a good vegetarian. <laughs> Here's your phone. Tell my kids I love them. Just uh, thinking, oh, I wish I could open a window in there, actually, because it's uh, really dusty. I thought, why don't you just try opening the windows? And I open the windows, the windows are amazing. Like, they're actually amazing. Look at these. Open, like, in stages so that you have the whole window open. It's not just like in the UK where that one side opens, the other side opens. The whole thing opens up on, you know, on a, on a hinge system, and, it, and it's amazing. She's going to lose her marbles. So, I was wondering... Like, why was I falling through the floor? <sighs> Found out why. So here, they like to run their pipe work and then concrete right over the top of it. So I've got to go shut the water mains off now and look at the severity of this bloody thing. Honestly, you couldn't write this shit. Um, I just tried to uh, shut it off at the mains and the handle broke off to shutting it off. So uh, luckily, that, well, I think uh, hopefully a spanner will still do it. Um, it looks like it's got some flats on it, so we'll try and do that. 
but typical in it, eh? What a nightmare. Bike to me. Let's see how. Oh, that pipe does not look good. The hole's small. The hole's small. So the baby is down for her nap, so that gives me a chance to get going. Today I'm going to be tackling this bedroom. It's grotty, it's creepy. I hate it. But it is something that we really need to do um, so that Lou can finish the ceiling. There's definitely some things I want to keep. Like, I'm really excited about getting in there. I think there's like old clothes, maybe. I don't know. Um, I've also found like this phone, which I think is really cool. And this. I'm so excited about this. Salt. I don't think I like those work anymore. It feels very odd clearing out someone else's, like a dead person's stuff. Ugh. Some people want to change their bed once a week. This probably ain't been changed in 10, 15 years. It's fine. I'm not for it. I've also got to be careful. Oh, that just, that looks like, she just, that looks like a blood stain, I'm not gonna lie. Someone defo took their last moments on this bed. Oh, gotta do it. Got to do it. Bravery gloves, bravery gloves. <coughs> <coughs> God, that's the evil spirits trying to enter my body. They're not evil, they're not evil. Not fair to say that evil because they're not. I don't want there to be like snakes in there or something. Like mouse babies or something. Someone better do this for me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Bruce, you ain't here to help me. Oh god, I'm sweating. I am sweating. Doing good. Cleaned out the room. Found some treasures. Mmm. Yummy. I'm just going to... Clean out this, see what's in there. It's where I found the dead rats. Luckily, I've got a lot of um, experience with dead rats, so quite excited about it actually. <laughs> they don't have to say it. Do you love caravan life? I already know. Look what I installed. I well, I say I installed, I've literally just put it on the wall, which by the way, was the worst thing ever. Try drilling into a stone wall when you do not have the things that you need to drill into a stone wall. It sucks and it was really, really difficult. Uh, but in the end, I got there, it's on. So now it's just down to the pipe work and I'm working my way back to the water meter. So I'm gonna explain why. Essentially what has happened is we've burst the pipe in the property because they're really old and they all need replacing anyway. Uh, they so literally cement them into the floor. What we need to do is run some pipes off the meter around the annex but i'm working my way back from the boiler and doing all the pipe work in the house uh, before i connect it to the meter because once i cut the water off at the meter we have no water so it's going to be the last thing that i do that's the plan so i'll show you a little bit as i'm going through okay. uh, so the plan is we're going to have a washing machine over here somewhere if i zoom out make it easier so i'm going to have a washing machine over here somewhere so i need to run pipes hot and cold down the floor to over here. So the meter is over there on that side of the property um, and it's gonna come through the whole building across the roof and down um, and then into the boiler. So that's been cold feed in and hot feed out. And then I've got to feed it back <laughs> that way into the bathroom. Sounds mad, but this is really the only way we could do it logically. Given the current state of the building, 
where the best place is to put it. This is the conclusion we drew up. It had to go here. Run the hot pipes back that way, which is gonna come into this room. Here we're gonna have a toilet. We're gonna have a hot and cold feed come down this wall and then we're gonna drill through there and then we're gonna put some stud walls up in here. We're gonna have the actual shower tap, it's gonna go here. All right, so we're all gonna have a shower here. We're just gonna have a wet room. Um, so you get squeegee mop and you can just put everything down the plug hole when you need it. It's, it's a much nicer way of, of having a shower. Everything can get wet, it's really not a problem. Obviously, we don't know how much all of, all of this will be permanent, but for now, this is gonna be permanent for a good while. So we're, we are gonna invest some money into just getting it nice for us and make it livable. Earlier on, I drilled a hole through the ceiling. All right, you see there's a little twig there. Yeah, I drilled a hole through the ceiling so that I know where to cut my pipe. So I've got a rough idea of where things need to be cut. There's lots of dead rats up here. There's just skeletons everywhere, which is wonderful. And I know that I need to come up here. Dead things and me. Just, oh, I'm not great at it, so we'll see how all that goes. That's the plan. I don't know if you can buy snips or something for this stuff, but I didn't get it. Um, if I see some, I probably will, but this seems to be working for me, so I'm just using the, uh, the saw to do it. If I'm successful with this and it all goes well, then all of you can do it, uh, because I've never done it before, and uh, I'm a complete novice. So yeah, I don't want to like waste, I don't want to waste things, like these have been kept in here for years and they're still fine. So I'm going to do like a keep pile and a throw away pile, you know, I'm not saying no to it, love a kimono. Like I don't hate it, I don't hate that. So we'll put that on the maybe pile, I don't know what that is but I'm going to say no to it because I feel like sheets are... Sheets are a no from me. That looks like a care coat, sweater vest. Oh, so I could see Lou in that. Put that in the no pile. See, I think Lou might like that. For like brewing or something. I don't know, you might need like a jacket at some point. I'm gonna put that on the keep. I'll put on the maybe, I'll put on the maybe. Lou's not that up for wearing dead people clothes. It's a baby. Oh no. <laughs> No, that's not baby. Damn, how big was this woman? Oh, that gusset seen better days. Keep pot. <laughs> I'm gonna say no to it. Also a no. 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 It wasn't like twice the size of me. Still no. She didn't treat him, did she? I haven't found any salty knickers yet. What's died in that? Alright? Okay, the bad news first. You want the bad news first? Yeah. There's a hole in the floor. Yeah, look. The floor shouldn't do that. No. That's a very new thing to do. Also, 
I don't know what, but I don't know if it's where I disturbed stuff. A big hole fell down while I was just sweeping. It's the sh**t on the walls. Yeah. So I'm there sweeping, like, oh, just more dust every time. It's all the dead, like, look at it. Yeah, not good. So that's all got done. It's all had to come off anyway, but still. What do you think of my progress? Yeah, you've done a great job. Very impressive. I'm sweating. It's very good. You've done a great job. Found these in the fetch cut. Oh wow. Oh, files? Yeah. Why? 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 What are they trying to put that? Why? What is it? Found them in the burning bit in the fetch cut. Mm. Then we got burnt and I the mystery continues. Be interesting to take a look at those oh, and then translate no. them. Oh baby. So, yeah. Great job. Great job. Scared to go up here, man. Really, I'm not alright about it. I'm not gonna lie to you. I just don't want to do it. I just... Let's hang this on that rafter for your entertainment. Oh, there's another bee. Please just leave me alone. I'm pretty scared actually. This is not that safe. It's not as safe as I could really. My ladder's probably not as tall as it needs to be. Oh, it's so hot. I'm too big for this. I don't want to army crawl on this, but it's gonna be so gross. No, no, not for me. Oh, I'm up, I'm up, I'm on it. Let's do it quick. Oh, it's so day. Oh. Look. So why wire it? Make it cordless. Get on. Oh, it's really hot up here as well. I'm sweating my nuts off. Oh, look at those bones. Yeah, Jordan, she's always like, ah, oh, you're off having fun. I'm not having fun. This is not good for me. I don't enjoy this. Oh, that's hot. Oh my God. Sweating. Sweating. Current state of affairs. We got a shower. Now, nothing's running yet, but shower's on, kitchen taps. I'm now in the process of doing the kitchen tap and then I'm done. All I've got to do is rig it up to the meter and then that'll be the final bit. And then it's all systems go because I've done all the electric. As you can see, like nothing's on the wall yet, so please don't judge. Everything's kind of working, so you can see here, light coming on, fuse isolating switch for the boiler. See here. Woo! So this is quite the moment. So this is the point where I'm going to join this pipe onto the mains it won't be easy i'm gonna cut it i'm gonna say there to give me a little bit of leverage as well to use and utilize and get it undone might have to do a bit more digging but i don't know i'm a bit unsure because i've got two pipes here i've got one coming off here which i think goes to a garden tap and then one shooting off there which i think feeds the annex this pipe just here coming from the left into the meter i think that's the mains to test whether i've cut the right pipe basically i'm going to start cutting into it and if it leaks I've cut the wrong pipe. If it doesn't leak, I've cut the right pipe. So I'm gonna start cutting. Oh, scary, because we don't have water now. We, we, we really actually don't have water at all, so. That's not good. Is it? I'm so happy that stopped and slowed down. Basically, here's what I've got to do. Give you guys a better close-up view. So you can see the pipe that I've cut. I'm gonna try and use a bit of that pipe to leverage and undo that. And then I've got a fitting that fits on there. And then hopefully I can just weld it, weld heat welder it on to the pipe that I've got there. Um, this here is just a temporary fix. I ran it up and over the grapevines. I didn't want to run it across the path and into the building below, so we could still walk through the gate. I'm not in a position to dig a trench right now. These, this needs to be dug under the ground over to the annex. I'm not in a position to do this. I've got far too much on at the minute and this is a simple, quick fix that's gonna say, that's gonna give us some time. 
and that's kind of the main objective right now. There are bees around me. I'm not happy about it. Oh, please don't sting me. This allows us to move on, get onto the roof, um, which is the next thing to do. So Getting in there, George, because you're smaller, look. I'll chuck the woman in the hole because I'm going to bury her now. Good night. <laughs> you're going to bury me alive? Trish, you're waking the neighbours. <laughs> this might be one of the most intense moments since our arrival. I am moments away from having hot water. Moments, moments away. All right. I don't know if I need to like purge the system or anything so it fills the water boiler up. No idea, because surely it'll have air in it and stuff. So like it won't fill up. I don't know, it must, that must be a thing. So I'll have to think about that. Maybe, I'm not sure, maybe. And I did it. That's it, I did it. I did it. <laughs> I've got to turn it on yet, but I really hope it works. Go. Oh, let's turn it on. Days. Days of pain. Make sure you get my face in this. Oh, I'm like the BBC. Oh, I can hear it going through. Right, let's run. Go. Let's run. Run. Okay, so tap, no leaks. Shower, no leaks. Toilet, no leaks. Washing machine, no leaks. Boiler, filling up, no leaks. Electricity, on, on, <gasps> on. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> I did it. You did it. I did it. Yay! I did it. You you can say that once you've got hot water. Well, now let's just go and test the shower. It's not going to be hot no, yet, yeah, is it? I know it's not going to be hot. But, like, we can watch it run. Like, this is an indoor shower that is done by me. Oh, it's powerful too. Yeah. That was the hot tap. That's the shower broken. <laughs> what the hell was that? That was air stuck in the system. Oh my gosh, that came out here. I'm wet. You catch that on camera? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be good for trailer, wouldn't it? Yeah. So for now, this is our like temporary shower, like on, on top of the old shower that we had. Um, it's been hard, man. You know, I felt so much pressure to get this done. So much pressure to get this done, to get to where I am right now, to allow us to have a fridge, a washing machine, hot water, showers, be able to have somewhere to wash up. Oh, it's taken a lot to get to this moment. That's what we've got, and I'm happy with it. Next time on From Bournemouth to Bulgaria, Can't drive, it's a wheelbarrow. I love it, but I hate it. Oh, why? You feel like you've given in to modern society. I have. The mod cons are what got me. Oh, I don't know if that. Once winter gets here, we'll find out how bad it really is and how much wood we need. We have a new fridge. Oh, oh amazing. ceiling collapses. <laughs> <laughs>